In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Greetings, beloved of the Lord, and welcome to this new week. We are in the fifth week in Ordinary Time, Church Year C. Today is Sunday, the 6th of February, 2022. It is the fifth Sunday in Ordinary Time, Church Year C. You are listening to Catholic Meditation with me, Father Blessed. Good morning and thanks for joining us. Let us pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care, that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, they may be defended always by your protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns within the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The first reading is taken from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 6, verses 1 to 8. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord sitting upon a throne, high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. Above him stood the seraphim, each had six wings, and one called to another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. And the foundations of the thresholds shook at the voice of him who called, and the house was filled with smoke. And I said, Woe is me, for I am lost, for I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. For my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then flew one of the seraphim to me, having in his hand a burning coal, which he had taken with tongues from the altar. And he touched my mouth and said, Behold, this has touched your lips. Your guilt is taken away, and your sin is forgiven. And I heard the voice of the Lord saying, whom shall I send, and who will go for us? Then I said, Here am I, send me. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm is taken from Psalm 138. The response to the psalm is, In the presence of the angels, I praise you. The second reading is taken from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, chapter 15, verses 1 to 11. I would remind you, brethren, in what terms I preached to you the gospel which you received, in which you stand, by which you are saved, if you hold it fast, unless you believed in vain. For I delivered to you as of first importance what I also received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures, that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day in accordance with the scriptures, and that he appeared to Cephas, then to the twelve. Then he appeared to more than five hundred brethren at one time, most of whom are still alive, though some have fallen asleep. Then he appeared to James, then to all the apostles. Last of all, as to one untimely born, he appeared also to me. For I am the least of the apostles, unfit to be called an apostle, because I persecuted the church of God. 
but by the grace of God, I am what I am, and his grace towards me was not in vain. On the contrary, I worked harder than any of them, though it was not I, but the grace of God which is with me. Whether then it was I or they, so we preach, and so you believed. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Gospel Acclamation Follow me, says the Lord, and I will make you fishers of men. you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter 5, verses 1 to 11. At that time, while the people pressed upon Jesus to hear the word of God, he was standing by the lake of Genesaret, and he saw two boats by the lake, but the fishermen had gone out of them and were washing their nets. Getting into one of the boats, which was Simon's, he asked him to put out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the people from the boat. And when he had ceased speaking, he said to Simon, Put out into the deep and let down your nets for a catch. And Simon answered, Master, we toiled all night and took nothing, but at your word I will let down the nets. And when they had done this, they enclosed a great shoal of fish. And as their nets were breaking, they beckoned to their partners in the other boat to come and help them. And they came and filled both the boats, so that they began to sink. But when Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man. For he was astonished, and all that were with him at the catch of fish which they had taken. And so also were James and John, sons of Zebedee, who were partners with Simon. And Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid, henceforth, you will be catching men. And when they had brought their boats to land, they left everything and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear friends in Christ, today we meditate on the theme, The God who calls also qualifies. The God who calls also qualifies. Beloved of God, on this fifth Sunday in Ordinary Time, year C, our Holy Mother, the Church, invites us, her children, through the readings of today's liturgy, to reflect on the vocation of all the baptized, that of bringing the good news to the ends of the earth. As children of God, we must readily accept the call and take up the task of bringing the good news to all. But before we do so, we must first have been witnesses. A better evangelizer must have first been a true witness. For how can you talk about something that you have not first experienced? In the first reading, the prophet Isaiah received his call to be a prophet. I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? Who will go for us? Isaiah chapter 6 verse 8 and he responded yeah am I send me Isaiah chapter 6 verse 8 it was a willing and voluntary response yeah I am I will go send me but before accepting to go Isaiah had witnessed the Lord himself for he saw the Lord sitting upon a throne he saw the seraphim singing holy 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 in the gospel, we also find the willing and generous response of the apostles called by Christ to be fishers of men. They left everything and followed him. They abandoned their trade, left their boats and accompanied him. They left everything to be fishers of men. 
But before their response, they had had a personal experience of the Lord. He preached and made them get a great catch of fish. In the second reading, St. Paul urges us to hold fast to the gospel he preached. The first witnesses of the resurrection had to carry the gospel to the ends of the earth. We too are witnesses and must proclaim the gospel to the ends of the earth. Do we give our generous yes? And do we offer ourselves willingly to carry the gospel to the ends of the earth? But beloved, one other thing runs through all the readings. What is the criteria for choosing the preachers? What was their qualification? It was their unworthiness that qualified them. It is ironical but true. It was their unworthiness that made them qualified to be called. They were called not because they were perfect, but because they were unworthy. Then, after calling the unworthy people, God qualified them. For the God who calls does not call the qualified, but he qualifies those whom he calls. Isaiah, in the first reading, complains of his own limitations. I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of a people with unclean lips. Isaiah chapter 6 verse 5. But God touched his lips and empowered him and qualified him. Isaiah knew of his own unworthiness. He knew he was not qualified because he was a man of unclean lips. But that moment his lips were touched with a burning coal, he became qualified. In the second reading, St. Paul acknowledges he is the least of all the apostles, unfit to be called an apostle, 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 9 because he persecuted the church of God. If there was one to be called an apostle, definitely not he. But it was the grace of God that made him who he became. In the gospel, Peter adjured Jesus to depart from him, for he was a sinful man. Luke chapter 5 verse 8. So you see, in all readings, we find those who are called, saying of themselves, that they are unworthy. So beloved, if God has called you as he has called each and every one of us through the waters of baptism, it is not because we are too worthy. No, it is rather because we are unworthy. So dear friends, God has called us and it does not mean that we are holier than others or that we are better than them. Our qualification is our unworthiness. Therefore, two things we should always note and remember. One, do not boast or feel superior. There are some of us who feel we have a higher spirituality than others. There are some of us who think that we are holier than others. We think that we are more worthy and deserving than others. No, beloved, no. Always remember, it is your unworthiness that has made God call you. It is because I am unworthy that is why he has entrusted to me the sacred gift of the priesthood. Not because I am holier than you. Not because I am more spiritual than you. So do not see yourself as holier or more spiritual than others. No, you are unworthy. It is God who qualifies us. Second, do not be discouraged by your own weaknesses. Like Isaiah, like Paul, like Peter, we look at our weaknesses and many times we are discouraged and we want to argue with God that we cannot do the work that he has called us to do. But beloved, remember, God who calls qualifies. And as he has called you, he will qualify you. He will make you fit for the task that he has entrusted to you. Let your own weaknesses not even scare you. Let your own weak points, beloved, not scare you. Rather, give yourself willingly and generously to God, and he who made of Saul a Paul, he who made of Peter the rock, he who made of Isaiah the man of unclean lips to be a preacher and a prophet, will make of you that unworthy vessel to be a great channel of his grace to his people. All he needs of you 
is to give your willing yes and to make yourself available like the Blessed Virgin Mary. I am but the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done unto me according to your word. Let us pray today for that grace that we may make ourselves available to preach God's word to the ends of the earth. Let our weaknesses not scare us. Let our weaknesses not discourage us. Do not also feel that you are better than others or feel superior. No, rather, always look back to the God who has called you because of your unworthiness that he may qualify you for the task he has entrusted you. Amen and happy Sunday. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son and the Holy Spirit come on you and remain with you forever. Amen. <laughs>